what the hell is going on with these ADF facilities, okay? So these are basically secondary facilities that institutional buyers, broker dealers, all the corrupt entities in the market can go to to mess with our orders where we never even see it. And the breakdown of this is crazy. And this has been updated as of June 2021. So as you all know, the market share that's going on in the market right now is ridiculous. And the example we have on the screen is the market share percentages across all exchanges and off exchanges for Friday, June 25th. Now, on a daily basis, even back since 2015, the NASD ADF has been amongst the top of the market share percentage, right alongside FINRA's TRF, or Carteret, being around 35% or so on a daily basis. Now, the lit exchanges, no lit exchange has over 16% market share. That has shown up in filings a lot lately, and this is the reason why, because the ADF is eating up a lot of the daily market share. Now, what is an ADF? It's an alternate display facility or a secondary quotation book, and the, the original filing for this came out um, in 2008. <laughs> was when it was amended, originally created in 2002, amended in 2008. An ADF trading center means a registered reporting ADF market maker or a registered reporting ADF ECN that is a trading center as defined in Securities and Exchange Act Rule 600B78 of Regulation NMS and that is certified pursuant to Rule 6250 to display its quotations or orders through the ADF. So rule 600B78 simply says a trading center means an, a national securities exchange or national securities association that operates an SRO trading facility. So they operate a self-regulatory organization trading facility or an alter, or alternative trading system, an exchange market maker, an OTC market maker, or any other broker or dealer that executes orders internally by trading as principal or crossing orders as agent. So basically anybody except retail. Now, the, to register as an ADF market maker or ADF ECN, and now the difference between a market maker and an ECN is that an ECN works off commission and a market maker works off the bid ask spread. So, a member seeking registration shall file an application with FINRA, in which the member specifies whether the member is seeking registration in NASDAQ and or CQS securities certifies the member's good standing with FINRA, demonstrates compliance with the net capital and other financial responsibility provisions of the Exchange Act, agrees that failing to submit quotes and report trades and NMS stocks to the ADF during the two-year term will result in the forfeiture of some or all of the ADF deposit amount pursuant to the ADF deposit terms. Look at E. Agrees that failing to submit 75% of the ADF market participants quoting and trading volume to the ADF will result in the forfeiture of some or all of the deposit. So, they have to submit at least 75% of the ADF market participants quoting and trading volume, leaving 25% out. So we're allowed to leave out 25% of the ADF participants quoting and trading volume to the ADF. Now, what data needs to be reported to the ADF, you ask? Well, considering it takes 40 of our market share every day, I would hope a lot. And it turns out, actually, it is a lot. So number one. ADF trading centers must record the following info for every order they receive from another broker dealer via direct or indirect electronic access. A. Unique order identifier. B. Order entry firm. C. Order side. D. Order quantity. E. The symbol. The order price. The time and force. The order date. The order time. Minimal acceptable quantity. ADF trading center. Which one is it? Any other information as specified by FINRA or the SEC. Also. The information described that I just mentioned has to be reported to FINRA by no later than 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the day of receipt of the order. There's also more. A unique order identifier, an order response, an order response time, the quantity, and the price. Again, reported by FINRA no later than 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the day of any response to or action taken regarding an order. Provided, however, 
that an ADF training center must report any information described in subparagraphs A through E to FINRA immediately upon request. How long do they have to keep this data, you ask? Well, according to this, the rules of FINRA and the Securities Exchange Act of 1933, they have to keep and maintain and preserve records of the information for two years. At least two years. It says three, but the first two years have to be in an easily accessible place. And then I guess the, after the, the two years, you can just throw it under your, under your bed, I guess. So that's good. So we have to have data reported daily, and we have to have it for two years. So there should be a very large compilation of this data for us to look at. Where is it, FINRA? Because everywhere I've tried to look for this, I cannot find it. So if anyone out there knows where we can get some ADF data feed information, that would be fantastic because um, I haven't been able to find any. Now, this is where it gets weird, okay? So I did find the UTP data feed services specifications, okay, which was revised this month. Take a look at this. Look at some of the um, codes here. So I'm assuming this is the value they see when an order comes in through here. This is the condition code, right? Look at this. At the market center level, the allowable values are as follows. Manual ask, automated bid. Manual bid, automated ask. Fast trading. Manual bid and ask. Order and balance. Close quote, non-firm quote. O opening quote, automated. Regular, two-sided, open quote, automated. Manual bid and ask, non-firm. <laughs> Manual bid and ask, non-firm. Order influx. Automated bid. No offer or automatic offer. No bid. No open, no resume. Intraday auction indicates that quotation including this quote condition is in BBO eligible so that would be manual bid automated ask manual ask automated bid opening quote automated regular two-sided open quote automated and automated bid no offer so yeah that's fishy oh and by the way these are all lit exchanges right here these are all the non lit this is everything to look at right here so we have three from FINRA and the NYSE. Actually, the FINRA and NYSE share the TRF. The big one is between the NASDAQ and FINRA, TRF Carteret. That's the one that uh, eats up a lot of the volume combined with the ADF. And by the way, it says trade originates from FINRA ADF. So for those of you saying that I don't know what I'm talking about, trades do occur at this facility and the majority of trades occur at this facility so where's the data FINRA look at some other stuff look at this retail interest code so it's like they're playing off of our interest is it in our interest or not retail interest not applicable space retail interest on a bid quote a retail interest on an ask quote B retail interest on both bid and ask quote C this looks like the perfect system for them to come and manipulate the order flow at their disposal so I'm not sure what to think about it um, again right here you, this is all ADF related because it says right here FINRA ADF market participant quotation message this is all ADF related originating participants the follow the follow values a typo huh the follow values represent the Registered National Security Association and National Security Exchanges that are eligible to participate in the UTP plan. Of course the ADF is going to be on there. And the TRFs. <laughs> trade condition table. Split trade. Form T. Extended hours trading. Sold out of sequence. Contingent trade. Average price trade. Cross slash periodic auction trade. Placeholder. That looks new because it's in red. These two were just added. Yellow flag regular trades, sold out of sequence trades, stop stock regular trade, odd lot trade, sold last, market center next day. This is the crux of the corruption right here. It's got to be. It's got to be. This is what's going on. They're sending everything through this ADF facility. They're using all these different manipulative tactics to do it, and there's no data available on this. So if anyone can find this, that would be fantastic. I'm going to go pretend like the whole world isn't a gigantic 
line.